I want to see that uh, it's fair right across the board. But you know what? Council worked very hard. So did staff. Uh, they didn't take the decision lightly. They took their time. They debated back and forth and they found consensus around the table. And I think that's what uh, democracy should be all about. And it still needs to be worked on as the years go on. So is it fair right now at this point? No, I don't think so. I think it needs to, I think it has to be fair right across the board. Is it fair just to all of a sudden shift everything and, and make a hardship for landlords and tenants? No. So how do we phase it in over the next uh, two or three years so it's fair right across the board? I think is the best way to go about it. it. This system has been ongoing for the last 50 years. It's only since that the water meters have gone in that we've learned about the different uh, uh, uses of waters between all the classes and the water loss as well. Now, I know water losses for the dead ends and, and the, under the Safe Water Drinking Act and our leaky pipes. So the information that we're getting from these water meters are going to be allow, allow us to be much more efficient and be, be very targeted in how we can save costs for our taxpayers. And September 1st is the rollout. So there's a bit of a trial period where people can go online and check their bills to kind of get a sense of what things are going to look like. Yeah, I, I agree with uh, September 1st. I, I didn't want them to institute it July 1st when you hit the peak season where people use the most water. You want people to get used to it. And I think September 1st, if somebody has a running tap or, or a, a fixture that's running, at least it's not in the peak period so they can adjust. They can go online so that they can see their water, water usage. And I encourage everybody to uh, go online and see where, where their water usage is, if it's bu bu above or below average, there's an opportunity for them to save money. Um, and secondly, we want to make sure that our citizens are informed. So all the tools are there. If they have any questions, just give us a call at City Hall. Down the line, where do you want to see the fixed variable rates? Where's the end goal? Uh, the end goal for me, uh, I'm pretty indifferent about it, uh, whether it's 60, 40, 40, 60. Uh, at the end of the day, I just want it to be a smooth transition for everyone. Um, I don't want people to get surprise bills and, and, and be shocked by them. Uh, so that's why I was supportive of the 60 fix, 40% variable, and it's just for an easy, smooth transition to the new system. And that's all I'm focused on with that.